while Pat is out on track and uh, Carpanti has really complained about heavy understeer with Tagliani set up. Tag really drives the car in hard under the brakes and gets rid of that understeer on the entry to the corners. That's an interesting development for tomorrow because if you have that much straight line advantage and you're still getting through the corners quickly, uh, I think you'll see guys, a lot of guys run less down for us tomorrow. But the fact that they were able to go that much quicker still in the low low drag setup is, uh, is pretty good news. Tony Sicali, his engineer, employed that to good effect. If you remember a few years back when Villeneuve won, I believe it was maybe his first race here, drafted on a restart up the front straightaway, had much better straightaway speed. So uh, Tony Sicali up to his old tricks. And there's a little brow in the center of the carousel. And watch, sometimes the cars get a little loose right here. Not, not even a wiggle. Oh, there you go. Scott? Well, Tommy, just like you're talking about, these guys are going to have one downforce set up on the car purely to go as fast as they can for one lap. For the race, it's going to be a different story. They're going to be looking at a couple different things. Fuel mileage and how is the car going to race against the rest of the traffic. It used to be in days gone by, you put more downforce on to go racing. These days, mm, I'm not quite sure. You just can't afford to give up that straightaway speed. It'll be interesting to talk to these guys as they get ready for the race. A little different setup from qualifying to what they might change over that berm. Be interesting to get Derek's thoughts on that also to try to figure out, you know, the setups kind of go in, in phases. And I think the tires, the Potenza is being so dead reliable.